my heart honestly just fills with so much joy every time I get to talk about Mother Mary so I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more about her today. First of all, happy feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Today is her feast day. We're just gonna get right into it and talk a little bit about the Fatima apparitions and how this happened in 1917, but how it's still relevant for us today. Our Lady appeared to three little shepherd children called uh, Lucia, Francisco and his little sister Jacinta. One of the reasons that I'm so excited to talk about these apparitions is I was actually blessed last October for my birthday to go to Portugal which was originally for a surf trip um, but then we figured out that we were in Portugal um, just an hour or two's drive away from Fatima where the apparitions took place. So we decided that we would drive there and uh, take part in the rosary procession that happens there. People from all over in different languages, we all just gathered to say the rosary and process around um, Fatima. And you know, people were singing Ave Maria and it was this beautiful moment where you could just feel the universality of the church. You know, we felt like a family. There was people from all over the world and we were all gathered together honouring Our Lady. If you've never been to Fatima, I highly recommend adding it to your bucket list. But just so you know, right off the bat, I haven't always had a really close relationship to Our Blessed Mother. I shared on one of my videos on Facebook my own testimony of coming to know her as my own mother. There's something um, in me that stirs when I see her humility and her trust and her attentiveness to the needs of others that, you know, something within me recognises her goodness and her grace and it inspires me to want to be like that. I could talk about Our Lady all day, but these are some of the uh, many reasons as to why I love her. The central message to her apparitions were the power of the rosary. So you know that prayer that we say at the end of our rosary? Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. So that's called the Fatima prayer because our Lady told the children at Fatima the importance of praying the rosary for um, the conversion of souls and for the souls in purgatory and um, she told them to add this prayer um, to the end of each decade. Our Lady also encouraged the children to make small sacrifices because you know if we believe in God then we have to believe in the devil and if we believe that heaven exists then we should also be um, believe that there is a hell too, that hell exists. Um, and so Our Lady encouraged the children to make small sacrifices for the conversion of sinners, for the souls in purgatory and for those that don't know God yet. So the children would give up their lunches and make small sacrifices like that. They would maybe um, forgo water in the heat of the day um, and they would do more intense uh, sacrifices too. Since it's the month of May and as we know the month of May is Our Lady's month, um, this is something that we can do in our day as well, in our, the, all of our days throughout the month of May. Uh, we could honour her request to say the rosary. I mean, Pope Francis talked about how um, throughout the month of May he recommends that we pray the rosary daily. And we can make these little sacrifices too. But there are other ways that we can honour Our Lady um, on this feast day and throughout the month of May. We can, you know, say the Memorari. That is a beautiful prayer. Uh, if you don't know it, just look it up. Um, it's really simple and it is a lovely prayer. We can also consecrate our day to Our Lady, you know, simply just by waking up and saying, Our Lady, um, I give you this day, come into this day and be with me. There's a prayer I love and I'm pretty sure it was Mother Teresa that said it and I say it so often I've lost count, um, but it's really simple and it's this, it's Mother Mary, come and be a mother to me now. And I love that because Our Lady has shown her motherly love to me countless times um, and that prayer has never failed me so that is a good one as well. Behind me I'm trying not to block Our Lady um, is this is my little prayer corner just to help me focus in prayer um, but I want to just throughout the month of May offer Our Lady some flowers. These are just little things that um, you could pick to take throughout your month of May to honour Our Lady. hope that throughout this month uh, you get to know our Blessed Mother more um, because like I said she is just as much my mother as she is your mother too and if you're anything like me and you're a little bit hesitant of her then I urge you to just um, give her your tiniest yes um, and she will transform uh, the way that you see her and the way that you um, see her son too. Our Lady of Fatima, please pray for us. <laughs>